a lot of people weren't very happy with this update. They didn't think that it added enough for how long it took. And I I kind of disagree. I, I love everything that this update added, except for the way the cherry blossom trees look. I think that those could have been better, especially considering how pretty the sapling is. Look at that. The trees look nothing <laughs> look nothing like that. But the wood and the uh, the leaves are so amazing. I'm so excited to start using them in builds. And then like the little like added the bamboo stuff, the little clay pots and the signs. I love the signs. These are like I think one of my favorite things that have been added. They just add a little bit of detail that makes the world feel not so blocky i get i don't know <laughs> the right word to say it but it just adds enough that it kind of feels like a real thing we're, i think we're going on the right track i didn't put anything on the sign didn't know what to put yet but like the flower pot or the the decorative pot this is how i used to make them and like as you can see if i put this next to a block that it can attach to it kind of ruins the immersion right like it doesn't look as good as it used to from this angle it looks great but you have to be very specific about where you put this so that it doesn't attach. So like if this attached to this chest, it just wouldn't look good. But you like, you take a granite wall and a flower pot and you get the little material look like there's stuff in there. I think that looks really cool, but I love these. I wish they were a little skinnier or we could like change the size maybe. But the fact that you can put stuff on top of them and there's that, like, look at that. The little pixel difference, diff, 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 uh, difference <laughs> i think that this is just i, I love it I, I think it looks so cool and i i'm so excited to start to see like how people in the building community start to start to use this kind of stuff because i i'm really excited to start applying it i honestly think that the only quarrel i have with this update is just how different the cherry blossom trees look i think that they could have definitely done something maybe a little bit uh more exciting but considering how all the other trees look in this game i'm not really surprised but this the sapling is beautiful i think that that if the trees look somewhat like that oh man it would have been top tier this update would have been my favorite by far my plans for today have kind of changed uh initially i wanted to work on the fisherman village uh, just to add a couple more buildings make it feel more alive add more villagers but um i read somewhere that in the next patch uh 1.20.2 they're gonna change how the villagers work. So I think I'm gonna hold off uh, for now on that kind of stuff. And plus it gives me a little bit more time to make uh, a couple more houses and stuff like that. So we can add plenty of them instead of just like one or two like I have been doing over there. But to replace that, we're gonna build uh, something that I honestly think is probably one of my favorite builds to this day or at this point. Look at, yeah, just look at how beautiful those are. I'm so upset that they don't look like that. Um, but one of the, my favorite builds that I've made so far, uh, we're going to try to build that today in the mega base area. It's going to be kind of a special, I guess, because we finally, not finally, but we reached, oh, where's F5? We hit a hundred subscribers after the last episode. And, uh, it's kind of a celebratory thing that I'm building. It's more of just like, uh, a landmark where we'll definitely, we'll, we'll see that the build that we're going to make today and know that this is the point where we hit 100 subscribers. And I think that's really cool. And I am so nervous. <laughs> that is so many people. 100 subscribers is crazy. That is overwhelming. And I hope I can continue to uh, make stuff that you guys enjoy. And that's the reason you maybe uh, tagged along for our little journey that we're making in this world. But honestly, I can't express my like thanks. 100 subscribers in YouTube nowadays seems small, but to me, that is, I, I don't know how to entertain a hundred people. That's, it's scary uh, to think about. And I'm sure we'll uh, definitely go through some phases where you guys don't like some of the content I make and that's fine. Uh, I, it's, I'm learning a lot right now, uh, especially with um, just getting new equipment and stuff like that, getting new, like better microphones, better uh, recording software, better computer software. So things will change. Um, and I'd love to know, what you guys like and dislike about uh, each new episode, maybe things that you really enjoyed, things that you weren't so happy with. Like a lot of people mentioned the length of my videos might be too long. So I think this one might be a little bit of a, a shorter episode, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna just be building for the most, most 
for the most part anyways. But we have to collect a lot of material for what we're about to build today. And I'm sure the, <laughs> the thumbnail kind of gave it away, but we're going to be building a giant uh, cherry blossom tree and a sacra, sacra tree. I can't say that right, but I'd love to uh, have one of these in my world that look close to the saplings because I've already, you know, I've already said how much I love them. But um, initially it was going to go in the the uh the pit that we built but the way that i built it i just i didn't want to hide any of the branches any of the like the the trunk any of the leaves so we're gonna put it somewhere else um i don't think i've really decided where yet but i want to be able to see the whole thing and we're gonna we're probably gonna change up uh the plan for what's going in the pit i haven't decided yet but i'm sure we can figure something out that's pretty cool almost everything's collected um i need a couple more things and i also realized that i really need pink dye so down here in the bone farm or skeleton farm bone farm um does this still work oh it does um <laughs> i made a little flower farm it's super simple uh i'll show you how kind of how it works really quickly i have this lever here so when i press this lever um it moves the observer up starts a clock and just bone mills the crap out of those guys and then i also have um just hopper minecarts under here. I try to do like a moving hopping, hopping minecart, hopper minecart, uh, just a single one going back and forth, but it would stop and miss some of the, um, some of the, the flowers that maybe were stuck on that side. So I just put three of them down and that seems to have fixed it. Yeah. So it's just a sticky piston with an observer, uh, facing upwards and then that one's facing downwards. And then there's redstone on top of that observer going on top of the dispensers there so if i flip the lever again it um it works really well it's uh pretty good at keeping these in the same order maybe we'll see it when it hits 64 but like peony will be here and then roses will probably be here when it eventually grabs them where i think it's just full of peonies but uh it'll be roses and then lilacs i don't know how it does that but um it works it kind of keeps it organized for me but i really need the pink dye and i did the tool tool too tall the uh, the two tall ones give me two pink dye uh, rather than just a one. So I did this so that I can get pink dye real easily. That way we can uh, use it on like the terracotta and stuff. Cause I need a lot of pink uh, terracotta, pink concrete, uh, pink glass. <laughs> so this will definitely give me more than enough. I think um, like for two, for one is a pretty good deal. And now that I have it here, it'll be nice to have for the future. Um, I'd like to maybe add maybe another flower farm down here. Uh, but I'm not in the flower forest anymore, so who knows what'll go down here. I'm not the biggest fan of this room anyways, as you can tell from how unfinished it is. But um, I have to keep gathering a couple more things, and then uh, I think we'll be ready to to meet over in the mega base area. Well, that went pretty smooth for the most part. Um, ran into a couple issues that I'll kind of explain in a little bit, but... Uh, I figured out where I decided I want this uh, tree to go, and it's getting dark, but we'll, I'll show you real quick. It's going to be right here on this little area. It's a pretty good flat spot, and then the pathway that I'm planning on doing in the, in the future kind of follows this little canyon here. Maybe I'll even uh, change that up in the future, but it follows this little canyon, so it'll be walking underneath of it. So that'll be pretty cool, and then um, it'll also be a really cool entrance to see when you finally get around this corner just a gigantic tree it's not that big but um it's a really big tree and it'll be really cool to just kind of have it be in the open like this in an area that uh we can see all of it because i i really love the way it looks and i'm hoping that you guys will too so i have everything here organized this is pretty much this is not pretty much this will be everything i need i organize it in to the leaves section and the trunk section <laughs> and the leaves are they're crazy they're there's so many um, blocks. They're all pretty, pretty much the same. I got a ton of cherry leaves. Got a uh, pink stained glass, some pink concrete, uh, terracotta, and let's see. I think I have wool. Yeah, wool over here. And then the wood was um, honestly not too hard to collect overall. The mangrove wood was probably the hardest part. Um, I tried to farm it back at uh, the the main area where we where we're building our fishing village and all the farms and stuff, and it didn't go well. So I just went to the mangrove forest we found over there and it I, it was the easiest way I could collect these. These trees suck to, to farm. So maybe I'll have to make a farm for them eventually. I hope to not use these very often. Even though I really like the way the wood looks, it's just, it's almost not worth it. And then um, you can see probably just from each box that there's kind of a gradient going on. And 
I'm working on my coloring for the branches. Uh, so how I'm going to have it uh, laid out is for the most part, it'll probably be, probably be mostly the dark oak uh, because I feel like that'll just look uh, better than just the purple wood all over. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to do in the really dark areas where there's like maybe shadows, I'll do cherry wood. And then in the normal areas, it'll be stripped wood. And then when it gets to like lighter spots where maybe there's an opening between the leaves where the sun might shine, there'll be the mangrove root, mangrove wood, uh, jungle wood, and oak wood. And the oak wood was probably the, the lightest I'd go. I don't want there to be too much color difference between the darkest and the lightest. And there is obviously, but it uh, honestly has a pretty good gradient to it. I also have gray terracotta and oh boy, let me tell you about it. That was the hardest block to get right now. There seems to be a weird problem in my world right now where I can't get squid to spawn anywhere. I looked seriously everywhere. I went uh, into new chunks. I went into old chunks. Um, I rendered, uh, re-rendered some stuff um, just in my world, just uh, from an old backup I had. I can't get squid to spawn at all. Uh, Dolphins either for some reason. It was just those two. Everything else, tropical fish, normal fish, uh, guardians, drowned. Everything that is like a water block is spawning just fine, except squid. And I needed black dye for my gray terracotta thing and, and terracotta, terracotta thing. And I also made the LA farm last episode for gray, for black dye. And it just, it, it's broken. Nothing worked. I sat there all overnight expecting to get a ton and it was empty. So I don't know what to do. Hope maybe you guys have experienced it. I don't know. Let me know. I've already put some like a bug form out there and haven't heard anything back yet. So I'm not sure if anybody else has experienced this yet, but I didn't have a way to get it. So I um, eventually just went with the villager uh, trading with a mason. And unfortunately, they only give about what, 36 per day cycle. So it took forever to get this many uh, blocks of gray terracotta in the first place. I thought about doing a uh, wither farm, the one where you put the 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 wither underneath the um, the end portal, in the end, and he shoots his bullets into like a, a uh, like a chicken or a, a, like a fish or something like that, and they give you wither roses. Because you can use wither roses to get black dye, but I felt like maybe we'll do that in the future if my squid problem isn't fixed. But I felt like that was just a little too much for this episode. Uh, if honestly, I might do it in like the start of next episode if the problem is not fixed yet. I put out a bug form already somewhere and it doesn't seem like anybody else is having this issue right now quite yet. So I'm hoping it's not my world and I hope eventually I'll get squ squid again. But for now, I kind of am screwed for black dye. But that's probably enough rambling for now. I'm sure you guys are all ready and excited to see this tree get built. So we'll just hop into the time lapse and uh, get started. I am so happy with how this turned out. I love it so much. Oh man, let's try to get a good angle of it. This took forever. I'm sorry that this uh, video is gonna come out uh, so long after the last one, but I had to build all of this and I had to design all of this. So it was just, oh man, it was just a whole process, but I am so happy with how this turned out. I am, I, I can't, I can't stop looking at it. It's so amazing. You can kind of see here, how I decided I wanted the, the coloring to go. So in the darker areas where I assume there would be no light, um, there's the cherry wood. And then where there is light shining, that just kind of actually happened by chance, but where there is light shining, uh, you can see the oak wood. So it looks like there's highlights and it highlights it more. If this whole thing was purple, you wouldn't even really be able to tell that that was like a highlighted area. So I did my best uh, without shaders on actually to try and get an idea of where the light spots would be and where the dark spots would be like there and that's a light spot, that's a light spot, things like that. And the trunk is probably my favorite part of this whole tree. The leaves, I, I'm still struggling with leaves a little bit, especially ones of this size. Uh, I actually think it turned out pretty well. There's some things that I could probably do better, but with not being able to do like cool fancy commands to make uh, like leaf 
uh, like brain coral kind of blocks stick out there. It looks a little chunky, but I think it looks okay. Honestly, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And if we get close here, you can see I added like, uh, because here, you know, let's go down here. Uh, so you can see that um, there's little candles there. And that is because you don't really see these leaves that are falling down. You can now because I was already up there, but we won't see any more uh, spawn, uh, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I love that um, uh, feature of the cherry leaves. But in order to get that, that feel, I added uh, candles here and there to kind of make it look like leaves are falling anyways. Like that's a good uh, perception of it. So the only way we can get the leaves to kind of fall down is if we get on this, this second layer here. Um, Maybe, yeah. So it's it's not very common that we're gonna have leaves uh, falling down in this area, which is kind of sad. Maybe I can find a workaround, but I I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. I'm put uh, the lichen, whatever this is, glow lichen, lichen maybe. Uh, I put the glow lichen in places where it was dark, um, mostly to add a light source, but also because in most of the um, the pictures and stuff I looked at, there was a little bit of this moss growing, and I it wasn't as green as the moss that we have um from like the lush caves and stuff it was a it was a lighter green so i think this lichen kind of worked out really well and it also helped out to um to kind of light up areas so that there's not a ton of mob spawning there's gonna be mobs like crazy in the leaves but i didn't really know another way to fix that so uh it's kind of a, a big old death trap if we get too close <laughs> for now but i'll probably figure out a better way to solve that problem later on. I'll show you guys a couple different angles as well. Um, it's not just the front piece that looks cool, it's the back too. I re actually really like the back. I think that um, it just looks a little more uh, trunky. I you could probably tell that it's mostly trunk and not leaves, but I still think it looks good. And then um, actually, if we lower the render distance and get some of the fog coming in, let's go back over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, if the when the fog's coming in and it just kind of slowly fades in like that, oh man, it looks so cool. Uh, especially if you're coming from this area and you're flying in, you can just see it and then it just slowly starts to fade in. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> um, I did actually end up building the tree structure on um, on a live stream on twitch.tv slash simply night. Shameless plug. I built the structure on the server called Bakery, uh, the Bakery server, and they have a lot of plugins that kind of allow me to do these kind of shapes and like curves and stuff like that. So that really did help. But yeah, that's going to be all for this episode. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, I wanted to kind of try a different format and see if see if you liked it more or less than the other formats, I guess I should say, because um, it was more of a straight to the point kind of thing, a little bit of building process, uh, time lapse, a little intro, some more direct stuff and not just a long uh, video of me explaining my entire thought process and it was kind of fun to put together to be honest i might do it more often like this but i feel like the the content will start to get a little bit more focused rather than doing a lot more stuff in one episode which might be the better way to do it anyways thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers i honestly again i can't thank you guys enough i know that seems like a small number but to me that that's huge it's really it's really significant and i'm very nervous and i hope i can continue to Pet out content that you subscribed for and things that you like and just continue to grow as a community. And I would love to talk to you guys in the comments. It was really fun on the last episode talking to everybody. So would love to hear your guys' opinion about this. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you think that um, I should have put it in the pit and we wouldn't be able to see it? Or are you okay with the way that I kind of position this? Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.